Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this coach bag. And I will tell you right now, this is the only coach bag you will ever see on my channel. Personally, I am just not a fan of Coach. However, I do have this one to unbox for you guys and to show you all of the details. I will be telling you the pros and cons and if it really is a luxury brand or not. Now, I will tell you right now that this is one of my mom's bags. I did get this for my mom because she did really want it. And in all honesty, whatever makes you happy, that is all that matters. Even though I am not a personal big fan of Coach, my mom really does like Coach, especially because it's not such a high price like Prada or Versace or Chanel. So she doesn't have to feel like she has to protect it everywhere she goes. It's more easygoing and it's just kind of like another handbag instead of a special item that she doesn't want to like risk losing or damaging. However, overall, it's not a bad bag, but this will be the only one you do see on my channel. We will be taking a closer look at it and really deciding is Coach a luxury brand or not. So without any further ado, let's find out. Now we're going to be taking the close-up on the coach bag and we do have my beautiful cat Isabella joining us today. So first thing with the coach bag is this is made out of cowhide leather and I will be honest, cowhide is the same thing that a replica is made out of. Same with the top grain leather. If you ever have something saying that it's cowhide or top grain leather, it honestly usually isn't the highest quality. So definitely do keep that in mind. But this is good. You can wear it in the rain. You don't have to worry about it. And that is kind of why the price point does reflect what it is. It's like $300 because again, that's what like a replica would be priced as well. So again, for the quality of the leather, that is exactly what you are getting. Something that's good for the rain, but something that might end up cracking over time. Like right here, you can already see little black dots and the black dots were actually here when it was new. Usually on like a more luxury handbag, you would never get that. And if you do, they would give you like a massive discount. But Coach, it's kind of like known for, you're gonna get a couple flaws like that throughout the bag. And it just is what it is. However, for the hardware, the hardware is really, really cool. I do approve the hardware. It's nice, it's heavy, it's not gonna scratch too easy. And I don't even think that it might fade. For the handle, again, we have the leather strap, but right here, it's kind of like the Michael Kors bags, how it's kind of like glued on. This over time, it will end up flaking off and getting those like little white stretches where again, like a Prada or a Versace bag, they, they just do not do that. So do keep that in mind, but it is very cute. And then even for the hardware, the hardware is very cute, like how it does have the Coach logo right here. So I do approve that even on the little button right here, it does say Coach. So I do give them props for that. Now, even right here, you can not see that there is a little stitching error right here. Usually you wouldn't really see something like that, but on coach bags, you usually would. Again, for that side too, and even right there, you can see a little spot as well. But again, you know, for like an everyday bag, if you're on like a budget, this is still a good bag. I'm not totally hating the bag. I'm just simply pointing out all of the pros and cons to it. And then right here, we do have the cute little luggage tag. And it does say coach. I love, love, love those. And then it does come with a strap as well. And then the strap, it's good. You know, I like the fact that it is thick. And the bag fitting on your shoulder, it is good. The way it fits on your shoulder, it does hang on your shoulder. It doesn't fall off too often. So the bag, it is really functional. For the back of the bag, right away, when I got this for my mom and I opened it, I was so happy that I opened it for her because there was a piece of paper in here, like a cardboard piece, just to like keep it like very flat and hard right here. And I got a paper cut. It was so sharp. And I was like, oh, come on, no luxury brand would ever put a sharp paper right here to where when you go pick it out, it cuts you right away. So I was very disappointed in that, that like the way they package the bag on the inside is very hazardous to me. But in here, it does have a suede lining. Now, again, it's not actual suede. It is like a replica of wanting to be suede. So that means that it will scratch very easy and then it will have a lot of watermarks as well. Now, real suede would do it as well. Real suede, you're gonna get watermarks, you're gonna get scratches, but the way it feels, it does feel better. This one might start flaking. If this was to get really wet, it might end up flaking off. And that is where the con comes in. Because on the Gucci bag, the suede would never scratch off if it was wet inside, where this one, it might end up doing that. Opening the bag, it is just a button closure. So you go ahead and pop that open. Very cute. My mom still has the sticker right here. She has only worn this maybe like five times. 
because she doesn't really use like bags bags that much she uses like very small ones that go across the body usually but this one right here it is cute on the inside like very functional i love the fact that there's a pocket here very very good pocket right here we have the open pouch right here we have the sip pouch which is very spacious and it does say coach on the inside and then on the back as well we do have the coach plaque and then right here a little pocket as well and like i said for the inside i love the functionality of it so many pockets we have one two three four and then five and then even six if you count the back and i love that okay so when it comes to the bag when it comes to using it every day i do approve it it's just the quality and the price point. Paying $300 for a coach bag, I will never really justify that price. I can justify paying so much more in a stupid price for other bags, but the quality is there to back it up. And I know there is a lot of problem with quality and bags lately, but if you stick to a good brand and you look before you buy it, you'll always get like a good quality bag if you just pay attention. So, you know, there is that bag. It is really, really functional on the inside. I love the fact that it does have the shoulder strap because it honestly sits perfectly over your shoulder like this. And it honestly is really, really comfortable to hold and carry. So when it comes to the functionality of the bag, I am 100% for it. And I will not lie, functionality is 100% there. You go ahead, pop it open right here, and then you can see that like the suede inlining and everything, you can kind of get like a better view of how big it is in person by holding it up like this. And you know, all together, it is cute. But this is my thing when it comes to brands. This is something that everyone will have a different opinion on, but personally, this is my opinion. If you feel different, that is 100% A-OK. -okay. Like I said, everybody is in a different place at their lives. So if having a coach bag, if it is like the grand holy grail for you, that's all that matters, just be happy with it. But I do wanna talk about the tiers of luxury fashion. So growing up, I always wanted brands like Chanel and Prada, but I never once wanted a brand called Coach because for one, it sounds exactly how I feel it is. I feel like it's coach. Like you're not in first class, you're in the back of the plane. And the reason for that is because the quality is just not as perfect as like a Gucci bag would be. I really wanna do a comparison between this bag and a Gucci bag specifically, so I can show you the differences and why the price points really do kind of make sense. And with like the fake suede that's on the inside of this bag, the Gucci one that has real suede, it's not gonna scratch off ever. So there's specific quality things that the Gucci one would have that is better than this one. Personally, I always felt that everything you see in like Target, Myers, department stores, it all comes from the runway. I feel like there are specific brands that are at the top tier of luxury fashion. I think we can all agree it's like Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, and then it goes down to Versace. We all know that I love, love, love Versace is like my holy grail, but it's not the most expensive brand and it's not the number one in luxury fashion. A lot of people actually don't like Versace. If you don't like Medusa and you don't like Greek mythology, you probably won't like Versace. If you don't like loud patterns like this one over here, you probably won't like Versace and that's completely a-okay. So even I can agree that Versace is in like the middle of like the luxury fashion tiers. Of course we have number one spots, which is like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, and Chanel. Then we go into the middle, which for me would be like Versace and Dolce and & Gabbana. Then we go into like the third tier of luxury fashion, which to me would be like starter bags. This is the section that you will buy if you can't afford like a Chanel or a Prada. So I'm talking about like Michael Kors, Coach, anything that's in like the $500 realm. I personally just don't really see as luxury fashion. Now I do have a Michael Kors backpack that is coming up. It will be my next video. And I do discuss a little bit about the tiers as well in that video. So definitely check it out. It will be out soon. But I'm not gonna lie. When I first got that Michael Kors bag, it was like $500. I was so happy because it was my first like luxury handbag. But again, it's just like the starter pieces. To be honest, it's just like Kurt Geiber for me. There's a brand called Kurt Geiber. And in all honesty, it's the same thing as a Bulgari bag but it's like $200 versus the Bulgari bag, which is like 2,000, 3,000. So if I see somebody with like a Kurt Geiber, it's like, you like the Bulgari bag, so you settle it for that. And that's why personally, I am not a fan of Coach and any brand that I personally feel is on like the lower levels of luxury fashion, because I used to get them, there's nothing wrong with them, but I've worked so hard to really like up my way in the luxury fashion world. So there is no way that I'm going back. If I have Versace and Chanel to carry, there is no way I'm gonna be carrying a Coach or a Michael Kors 
or what is like another brand that you'd find in like um a department store to be honest even Marc Jacobs Marc Jacobs I don't really consider luxury fashion but here's the thing everyone has an exception or for Marc Jacobs I personally think that his handbags are not great. I don't really see anything luxurious about them. That's kind of why they're priced so low as well. However, his clothing, the runway fashion shows are absolutely excellent. I can 100% see why Marc Jacobs is a luxury brand. His runways and his collections are so good and the clothes speak for themselves. The quality is there. It is 100% a luxury brand to me. But for the handbags of Marc Jacobs, 100%, I'm just not a fan of. And even with Coach, like I said, every brand does have an exception. I might not be the biggest fan of coach bags, but this coach bag right here, this one is so cute. Personally, even I would collect this for like a display piece, but then again, I'm comparing it to the Dior glass bag. So this coach one, it looks really cute, but I can already tell that the material like on the front right here is gonna be that like, it's kind of like the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. It's just not a material that I really like. And the fact that it looks like it wants to be a mirror, but it's not going to actually reflect really does suck because in my head, I'm comparing it to the Dior mirror bag. So if you have these two bags side by side, which one would you rather carry? Would you rather carry the coach one or would you rather carry the Dior one that actually looks like a glass mirror? So again, every brand does have their exceptions. I do think some of the coach bags are cute, but when it just comes to the quality and just the name itself, you know, I wanna be in first class. I don't wanna be in coach anymore. So that's personally why I'm not a big fan of it. But again, the bag itself is not a bad bag. Back in the day when I was 20, I could never afford any of these high-end fashion bags. My budget was like $300, $500. So back then, I'm sure the younger version of myself would have been excited for a coach bag. But again, I've always known since I was a little kid that I didn't want to shop the coach realm. I want to shop the Prada realm. So, you know, that's exactly what I accomplished and I am proud of it. But again, I don't want to take away from anybody because bags can really mean a lot to people. It's kind of the same with Michael Kors too. Like Michael Kors has like one of the most popular handbags. Even my mom has it. I actually just got my mom another Michael Kors bag because again, she likes it and that's all that matters. But it's just such like, you know, carrying around like a coach or a Michael Kors to me, it's just kind of like carrying a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's just kind of basic in my opinion. And I think brands like Prada and just everything else is just so much more exciting. So to me, that is the luxury tiers of the handbag world. You have number one, the Hermes, Gucci's, Louis. Number two, the middle section like Versace, Coach & Gabbana, McQueen. Then you have the third one, which would be like Michael Kors, Coach, Marc Jacobs. And then you go even lower than that. You get the department stores, JCPenney, Kohl's, lower than that. You go to like Meyer, Target, lower than that. And then like the crazy bags from China. So personally, that's how I view the fashion. That's how I always have. But again, I think it's interesting. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I truly hope that nobody is too offended. I know I do have a few friends who love coach bags and by no means, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. Part of me is a little worried to post this video because I know that sometimes just vocalizing my opinion, it can seem a little judgmenty, but I really, really don't mean it to. But I really am just like full of love and like respect. So, you know, I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings here. But again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Comment down below if you agree with me or not. If you don't agree, that is completely okay. And tell me why in the comments. And have a great day. Au revoir.